This video is about the target. I can draw and interpret atomic level pictures of matter. So we think about matter. The huge part about matter is classifying it, right? Element, compound, or mixture. But really the distinction there is what it looks like on the atomic level uh, to then understand how it behaves. Okay, so one of the things we do a lot of times in chemistry um, because we're dealing with something so tiny you can't see it, is we either draw pictures or we make models so we can actually see what it looks like and thus predict how it will behave. So the main thing you need to know in relation to this target is uh, we're focused on it in relation to element, compound, and mixture. How do you draw or visually um, identify uh, element, compound, mixture, um, bonds, and then something called IMF. So here are some pictures that have been taken from the internet, um, and you can also draw pictures like this. Uh, and in terms of interpreting them, here are a couple things you're going to want to look for. So if it, an element, if you recall, is a pure substance that's all uniform in composition, right? There's um, only one thing present off the periodic table. So when I look at all of these pictures, that third box down where it has two red uh, objects very close to one another and then a whole bunch of uh, double reds kind of spread out, that would be classified as an element in my opinion. Um, yes, there are two things close to one another and when they're close like that, that usually depicts a chemical bond between the two things, but since it's all one substance, that's an element. So sometimes elements come as something called a diatomic which also can be represented like this, which is two of the same element bonded to one another. Okay, the oxygen you breathe is like this. Um, the hydrogen that people love to, you know, blow up is like this. Um, so just like that third picture down. So that third picture down would be a representation of an element. Uh, an element could also be represented as just single colors, right? Single circles all in one location. That would still also be called an element. Compounds are anything that has at least two different colored circles um, in the location, and then they also have to be bonded somehow. So the way we represent a bond is either with a line, right, like a stick, like the water molecule over there with the oxygen and the hydrogen, and then a line between them. That's a chemical bond representing uh, something that would happen in a compound. Or like the third picture down, that's another way to draw water. It kind of looks like Mickey Mouse with one big circle and then two other small circles like actually connected. That would also be considered a, another way to represent a compound. Okay, second picture down with the reds and the blues. Both the red and the blue are single elements, right? They're those diatomics that exist. Um, you just have more than one of them. So that would not be considered a compound because they're not chemically bonded to one another. The red objects are separate from the blue objects. Okay. So third picture down is element, fourth picture down is compound. The top two then are mixtures. So you can tell they're mixtures because they have at least two different colored circles in their physical presence, right? So two or more things mixed together in one location. And then you can tell mixture, not compound, because they're not chemically bonded, right? Again, uh, one way I like to think about any of these pictures in relation to are they bonded or aren't they bonded is I imagine these pictures that I pushed play on them. Okay, if I push play and let them start to move, would they move in a clump like this, like bonded to one another, or would they go all over? And for the red and the blue, if you push play on those, that red and blue would go their own merry ways. The two reds would stay together and the two blues would stay together, but they wouldn't combine more than that. And the same with the top picture. You have the green, the grays, sorry, and the reds. Um, but if you push play on that, they would bump against each other and kind of move around, but they wouldn't move together as a, as a unit. Where for those water molecules on the bottom, if you push play, the red and the two white would stay as a clump and just flow like this, like the water would separate and bump against each other, but that bond, that uh, oxygen to two hydrogens would stay bonded. So we'll work with this in class, but as you're looking at pictures, a compound will always have some kind of bond, have more than one element. Uh, element will just have one, whether it has a bond or not, and then a mixture will always have more than one thing. It could have elements mixed, it could have compounds mixed, it could have a variation of those, um, but they won't the two different substances will not be chemically bonded. That's it for this target. Have a nice night.